What's up guys, it's me Mr. Alex, and I'm here to talk about my experience as a waiter. So, when I first started applying for a job, right, I actually didn't even know what I was getting myself into because I saw a job opening for a waiter at a local restaurant near my neighborhood, so I applied for it, right? And it didn't go so well because I actually, you know, never ever worked in my life. That was the first job I ever applied for and it didn't really go so well let me explain why so the first day i applied i actually um didn't know i was gonna get hired right away because i actually went to the interview they told me that they will hire immediately and they also told me that if they, if i do get hired you know that they are relying on me and they don't want me quitting on them like other people have you know so i guess i'm not the first one that quit on them and well and well i actually you know promised them that i wouldn't quit but i shouldn't have done that never promise anything to anyone and well i actually did get hired i got a phone call two or three days later telling me that they want me working the next day in the morning i went and the the uniform was to wear black pants black shoes i thought that um you know i should have worn I should have worn my suit pants because I don't have any black pants, you know. And I went to to the, to the mall to shop for some black shoes. I wasn't sure what kind of black shoes. I thought, you know, I could wear my boots because it was winter and it was kind of snowing around the time. So they said that if I wanted to wear boots, it's fine, but it might be uncomfortable. Anyway, um, I decided to get myself some comfortable shoes, you know. That's like work shoes, you know, you don't wear it, you know, just to look good in the streets or whatever. You wear it because you got to, you know, wear comfortable shoes at work anyway. So I actually got the shoes and I started working on the first day. I was so nervous. I got there very early. I'm, a, you know, a punctual person, you know, that's what I am. I like to show up on time. I don't like to be late and I made a good impression. I showed up, but the thing is, um, I had to be on my feet all day. I wasn't allowed to take any orders. And I asked them, when will I be able to take orders? Because all I did was basically, you know, just tag along with other waiters, watch them do their job. And they told me to observe and learn from them, which I did, but I didn't learn much. You know, I wanted to actually take an order. And so what I did first, you know, I actually just, you know, didn't take any orders that day but I'll get to that part later. So anyway, um, so anyway, the morning shift is very, very easy. No one really shows up. Um, just like maybe about four customers around that hour. And um, let me see, let me try and remember. It was about two years ago, I think. Anyway, so the restaurant started to get crowded like around the midday and that's very very terrifying for me because i am not a person that moves quick especially if i'm under pressure so what i decided to do is try to take a deep breath you know and do my best but anyway that didn't work so well my freaking supervisors tell me alexis you gotta hurry up you know these people are waiting on you you gotta take orders from over here over there bring this to the other table you know smile be professional which I did smile at first because I was excited for this for this opportunity. However, after the the second or third day, I started to get miserable. I didn't like the job. I was very close to quitting, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna hang on. I'm not gonna quit. So what happened then was um, on the second third day, I actually wanted to try something new. I actually decided to, you know take an order from someone I tried to take an order from a customer it was kind of easy however the customer was talking way too fast I couldn't catch up to what she was saying and so I actually ended up um, you know messing up a little and I think I might have taken the wrong order I can't remember exactly what she ordered but I wrote something else down I think and so my boss called me you know he didn't want me to do that again he told me that I shouldn't take any orders until I'm fully ready. And I'm like, okay, but that other supervisor said I could do it, you know, if I feel like I'm ready. And I understand I didn't do it well. So I just wanted to give it a try. You know, it's much better if you give it a try instead of just watching, right? So 
after the fourth day actually no, no 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 let me start over the third day day number three i actually end up getting into like an argument with like this co-worker of mine and what happened was he actually you know was pressuring me to hurry up with the food right because i actually didn't know what table to bring the food to and i actually messed up right i was i was asking the chef you know where do i bring this food to he told me to bring it to table so and so but i didn't really understand what he said because he wasn't talking loud and clear for me the restaurant gets loud when it's packed anyway so the freaking colleague of mine he's another waiter right and he just you know said you gotta hurry up get out the way you know i'm like all right don't freaking yell me so i'm trying to stay professional i don't really like i don't really like fighting but if you provoke me if you put your hands on me i will fight back but anyway i will not you know have a scene in the restaurant you know i'm not going to cause a scene so i decided to move on with it and um after the next day the fourth day i actually decided you know not to show up to work i'm just gonna go in there you know hand in the uniform hand in the notepad and um tell my boss you know politely and respectfully that i quit i can't do this no more this job is a little too stressful for me it's not for me and i really appreciate the time that you gave me so anyway this lesson the point of this video is to show you guys you know especially you young people not to apply for jobs that i don't think you can do think about it before you apply make sure that you read carefully about the job description and you know check about other people's experiences like i did right here i'm actually talking about my experience as a waiter it's not an easy job you gotta be moving quickly you gotta you know be used to standing for a long period of time after the day two or three i did get used to it however i did get home tired and this job is just not for me all right so hopefully you guys did learn something from my experience and i hope you guys stay tuned for more videos let me comment down below um your experience in your first job and please subscribe for more videos thank you for your time